Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartz and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of meeting with Shelly Golden, and she is a Zoom background expert on how to project your best image. Welcome, Shelly. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. So what, what got you started in uh, helping people uh, look more professional on Zoom? I've been an image consultant on and off for the last, I'm going to just say 20 plus years uh, in three cities on two continents. I'm fourth or fifth generation in the fashion and clothing business. I'm a costume historian. Uh, I've taught history of costume at a fashion design school, color consultant. I'm just in the I help you look good business. Basically, you know, what, what, wherever you want to look good, need to look good, I'm in the I help you look good business. In terms of the Zoom makeover that I created, I've probably done over a couple hundred Zoom makeovers with professionals, people making videos, uh, on sales teams, attorneys, really to help them increase engagement. So it really feels like you're just sitting across the table uh, and improve trustworthiness and credibility. Can you show me a couple of examples? This woman is in her storage room. She is in pharmaceutical sales rep. She's a pharmaceutical sales rep. And you could see it right there. We changed the camera angle. You no longer see the ceiling. We worked on camera, camera angle, lighting. Needless to say, her background is completely elevated. Uh, what color clothing works best on her uh, in her space. Uh, and we also worked on just a little bit of makeup, which is real makeup uh, to create a little bit of a three-dimensional look on this two-dimensional platform. And I often teach people how to put on Zoom makeup if need be. So that's one example that is, is a pretty dramatic example. Uh, this woman's big issue was the light coming in her back window. And of course, the camera's looking on top of her head. So it doesn't really give her the authority and the gravitas and the power that she really needs. So I asked her, okay, what's, um, what do you have in your house that we could put in the window? I didn't think she'd have a painting in her storage closet that fit absolutely perfectly in the window. That was a total fluke. So I'm like, okay, let's put that in the window. That looks good. Lose the light fixture, take the little round stool with it and push the leather chair over into the empty space, which was now a very shiny brown leather chair. Straighten up the books, put some makeup on and change the camera angle. And the only thing she needed to do and after this 90 minute session with me is purchase a light for the left side of her face. She looks like she's sitting in a lovely office. She looks more credible, trustworthy, and you're not looking down on top of her head on her leopard carpet. So you studied paintings. I studied uh, in particular the Dutch masters and the impressionists. And why is it that people look at a certain spot on a painting? And why is it that everybody looks at the same spot on the painting? And quite often what the Dutch masters did is they create, they used subliminal lines. So they, they had a, a stick and they would put the stick on a certain angle. And what, what, what is in the middle of that line? And I try to do the same thing so that your eyes are always in the middle of the line. Then I also try to create another line so that your eye will go down my body so that you can read my nonverbal communication because that's what we're really missing on, on Zoom. Can you show uh, an office example where somebody has an office background? This was a, a, an image that I got off the web. It was a great big room. I zoomed it down. Uh, this is the logo of the att attorney. Uh, I added some law books. I added some plants. There's another little plant in the corner over here. And it just, it's inviting. It's intimate as opposed to this guy who's sitting in his bedroom. Now he looks like he has a, a more professional office. This is a, a mediator. So she needed something really calm, simple. Here was, a, I made a couple of uh, different uh, images for this mediator, very professional. Again, it looks proportional. It looks like I'm sitting in the chair at the right height. Right. And you know, here's her logo, added some plans, added some books. So what he is saying is that um, if you want to communicate and persuade and make a good impression, 
you need to combine the uh, science of Zoom with the art of creating a background that conveys uh, a pleasant image. You need to be intentional. Yeah. Of, of how you show up, of how you appear. You want to you wanna make it feel like you're just sitting on the other side of the table having a conversation. Right. Uh, un unfortunately, because I'm not in my space, uh, I, I would normally have the computer much higher at eye level as opposed to looking down. Uh, and I, I didn't really have any of my Zoom uniform clothing because I do right. have my Zoom uniform colors. <laughs> So how can people learn more about you? To get in touch with me, to learn more about me, uh, you can go onto my website, ShellyGoldenStyle.com. I'm both an image consultant as well as a Zoom makeover expert. Uh, and my email is Shelly at ShellyGoldenStyle.com. Thank you so much, Shelly. You are golden. That's what I've heard all my <laughs> life. That's why they call me Golden Girl. <laughs>